Adele Stan is the Washington Bureau Chief of Alternet.org. Alternet, uh, Alternet.org, obviously, the website. Adele, welcome back to the program. Great to be here, Tom. Thank you. So give us an update on the current state of affairs with regard to Murdoch Gate and, and, and what impact it's having on his various properties here in the United States, his radio and television, or his television stations, uh, the New York Post, the Wall Street Journal, Fox News, that kind of thing. Oh, um, my, Tom. You know, this thing is moving so fast that, I, you know, I've blinked, so I don't know if I've missed something. <laughs> it's just amazing. Uh, um, well, I mean, first of all, you, as, as you mentioned, he dropped his bid um, for this huge British satellite television service. And as uh, Oliver Willis, who is a, um, a great blogger, uh, tweeted, is this the first time that Murdoch has ever had to turned down, you know, they failed in a takeover bid. Right. And I think it very well may be. I don't know that for a fact, but I think it may be. Uh, you also had the tanking of News Corp's stock. Uh, News Corp's stock has lost something like 15% of its value, and Murdoch um, uh, News Corp did a $5 billion buyback of its stock in order to shore it up, and that had negligible effect um, so you have the real the tanking of the financial empire. As to the criminality question, you know, we really don't know what has taken place here in the U.S. We do know that the pattern that we saw in the U.K., uh, we've seen vestiges of that in the U.S. media, um, in, in Murdoch's U.S. holdings, you know. Mm. We don't know if there was phone hacking. We do know that out in the open, Bill O'Reilly sicked a uh, producer on, you know, uh, a, a critic. Um, uh, it's uh, happened several times. Yeah, you know, he would. He would. But that's that's not illegal. No, it's not illegal, but you know, it came very close to stalking in the case of Amanda Turkle when they tailed her for a couple of hours when she was, you know, leaving for vacation and confronted her at her vacation spot. Um, They've also, you know, the gag money that they paid Clyde Goodman, uh, um, the reporter at News of the World, um, when he was arrested. They he got a handsome payoff after he threatened um, he because they sacked him. Right. So he threatened them with a wrongful. So penalty. Adele, in the yeah. United States, we have this law, this this actual kind of body of law, the Foreign Corrupt Practices Act, right. which which says that. If a an, an American corporation or a corporation that's that's based or domiciled in the United States is engaged in corrupt activities in a foreign nation, if right. if an oil company based here is bribing you know a king someplace to get oil out of their country, then the executives of that oil company here are criminally responsible, can be held criminally responsible for what's going on, and the corporation can be held civically res- or yeah. Yeah, I guess it's called civil, civilly, excuse mm-hmm. me, uh, responsible, and uh, you know, bust it up, find, put out a business, whatever. Is there any serious discussion in the Obama administration, in the Justice Department, uh, or for that matter, with uh, Mr. Schneiderman in New York, who arguably would have some jurisdiction here, although probably not with federal law, uh, but with state laws in New York, because he's been aggressively going after Wall Street down there, the the right. Attorney General in New York State. Um, is there any indication that anybody is seriously looking into uh, I- gathering the evidence that might be necessary to initiate a, pr- a criminal prosecution of Murdoch, Murdoch's employees, or of his corporations here in the United States? You know, Tom, it's a good question, and it's not one I know the answer to. I haven't seen any, you know, heard any rumblings of that to that effect as of yet. Jay Rockefeller called for this today. Yes, Jay Rockefeller did call for it today, and that was the first, you know, congressional call we've had for action, as you noted. Um, uh, Jake Bernstein at ProPublica um, did a terrific piece laying out the different ways in which the law could be applied, mm-hmm. and uh, and we ran that today on Alternet. Um, and and what what he's saying is pretty much. I mean, the law, as it's structured, sort of has the Murdoch empire coming and going because, I mean, they probably have not, you know, itemized their bribes on their books as bribes. Right. <laughs> so, so whether or not they could be gotten on the corruption 
piece of it directly that, you know, remains to be seen. However, um, you know, that wouldn't have to be proven. But, uh, but, but if they have laid out money and then indicated that it was something else, you know, it's written it off as their bribe money as, say, office supplies, and that involves the Securities and Exchange Commission. Right. Um, so there could be, you know, a Security and Exchange Commission uh, investigation. However, you know, seeing how vigilant the SEC was uh, overlooking Wall Street <laughs> in the last several years as the economy tanked, and, you know, it's hard to find. Well, and Congress keeps trying to defund, the Republicans in Congress keep trying to That's defund right. the watchdogs. But um, still, uh, this is this is this is a, a very interesting. Now Hinton, the guy who's running the U.S. operations, right, w- used to work. Les Hinton used to work as an executive at News International in the U.K. Do I have that right? Yes, you do. Was was, was that during the time that they were engaged in criminal activity? That's right, and he may have perjured himself before the British Parliament in testimony to the British Parliament, where he, you know, he contended, you know, quite forcefully that the wrongdoing was limited to only one of his reporters, when in fact he had access to an internal investigation uh, memos that showed that the wrongdoing was quite widespread. So. Uh, the fact that he still has a job is quite amazing, and that his job is as CEO of the Wall Street Journal, which has its own um, ethics issues, is, 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 right. is, is sort of amazing. Yeah. Well, it, it we'll, we'll continue to watch the soap opera unfold. <laughs> it's, it's remarkable. Adele Stan, Alternet.org, the website. Adele, thanks so much for being with us.